अच्छा चलो ठीक है ये स्टार्ट करें बोर्ड अच्छा दिस वन So starting with can I get a question? Uh, starting with the yeah, sir. And starting with this one. Okay, remember that uh, paper five me. Okay, uh, uh, make sure most of the answers are going to be within the question. Okay, or baki apka P four ka jo knowledge hai na that's that's going to be used. So the student investigates. So it's a, it's a it's an electrochemical cell question. So the student investigates uh, the charge Z plus carried by aqueous. M and Z plus ions. The electrochemical cell shown is set up for this investigation with the following two half cells. ठीक है अब electrochemistry का ना सारा knowledge वगैरह that's going to be used here. Now what's um, what sir, I yeah. Ah, uh, sir, I think I, this is the paper I did most recently. So is it possible to okay. do another variant? Sir, ठीक है just one second. मैं समय eighteen कर रहा हूँ ठीक है. अच्छा दिस वन सब एटीन अब हो गया ठीक है अच्छा ये भी सरप्राइजिंग ही उसी का है इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री का नाउ जस्ट सेकंड तो ठीक है दिस इज दिस इज आल्सो अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री उसने कहा कि अ स्टूडेंट प्लान्स एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस एक्सपेरिमेंट टू डिटरमिन द फैराडे कांस्टेंट ठीक है सो ही इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट व्हाट फैराडे कांस्टेंट इज थोड़ा बहुत जस्ट वन सेकेंड अच्छा फैराडे कॉन्स्टेंट अब थोड़ा बहुत ये पता होना चाहिए वॉट इज द फैराडे कॉन्स्टेंट इट्स एफ इजी ग्रू एल ई राइट इट्स बेसिकली द चार्ज ऑन वन मोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट्स प्रेजेंट ऑन वन मोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ठीक है एक इलेक्ट्रॉन पे चार्ज क्या होता है दैट्स 1.6 आई मीन ई ओवर हियर इज 1.6 टाइम्स 10 पावर माइनस 19 19 कूलम्स एंड एल इज बेसिकली योर एवोगाड्रोस कांस्टेंट व्हिच इज 6.02 टाइम्स 10 पावर 23 असली विद स्टूडेंट वाज सप्लाइड विद द फॉलोइंग सो देयर इज वन डीएम क्यूब ऑफ रिमेंबर इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट द फैराडे कांस्टेंट सो यू गिवन वन डीएम क्यूब ऑफ कॉपर टू सल्फेट यू यू आर गिवन क्लीन ड्राई कॉपर फॉइल इलेक्ट्रोड्स लेबर्ड एनोड एंड कैथोड बैलेंस स्टॉप क्लॉक एमिटर अदर सूटेबल सूटेबल अदर इक्विपमेंट सूटेबल फॉर कैरिंग आउट इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस एंड ड्रॉ अ लेबल डायग्राम ऑफ द अपरेटर्स एंड केमिकल्स दैट द स्टूडेंट शुड यूज इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इंक्लूड इन योर डायग्राम द सर्किट कनेक्टिंग द एनोड एंड द कैथोड ठीक है सो So I'm just going to I'm just going to do the working over here. ठीक है कि यहाँ पे but basically electrolysis करना है ठीक है and remember you you can you can get a question similar to this in in P4 as well. So there's going to be anode and there's going to be there's going to be your cathode ठीक है and uh, you're going to connect them with a battery and Do you you're going to connect them with a battery and this is going to be your uh, copper because he's given you copper copper anodes and cathodes okay so your your anode and cathode are going to be made out of copper uh, make sure you label them this is your cathode this is your anode label everything okay uh, this is the positive side this is the negative terminal uh plus the solution is going to be copper sulfate aqueous uh that's that's the solution in the beaker uh 
what else what measurements do you need for the faraday constant mariam do you have any idea what measurements would you need for the faraday constant um, to the to the current and the time theek hai so you you would need a stopwatch theek hai so you can uh, i don't know if there's a mark given for the stopwatch but uh this i just call a stopwatch and they they has to be current because you have to use q is equal to it that's how you're going to figure out the charge that's flowing through the circuit so so the emitter is always going to place it's it's, it's always placed in the circuit so that's your emitter okay what else uh, did you have you had a stop clock you had a balance uh, uh, an emitter other equipment suitable for a draw label diagram and chemicals the student should use in the electrolysis including your diagram the circuit uh, so we done we done with that how many marks is this uh, just two marks so that's fine now how would you find the as a first thing hazards now two of the hazards of uh, using copper to sulfate solution are given below and uh, uh, what are the two hazards for each hazard uh, it causes skin irritation so what's the preca precaution that you, that you're going to use gloves ठीक है, the next one is uh, it's uh, toxic to aquatic life. Um, what's the precaution? Uh, making sure it's disposed of correctly, or something. Yes, I mean you're not going to dispose of uh, into the sink, or uh, into the drain. Oh, okay. Take care. uh a proper way of how, what could be a proper way of disposing of toxic substances like like in a laboratory like assuming you're in a school laboratory um i'm not sure and one thing is keep uh, uh safely dispose of uh, i mean because we're in a school right it's not so safely dispose of in sealed plastic bottles ठीक है दैट दैट इज समथिंग दैट कुड बी डन आई सेड एनीवेज स्टूडेंट कैरीड आउट द इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस फॉर एग्जैक्टली 30 मिनट्स विद अ करंट ऑफ 0.5 एम्पियर्स आफ्टर द इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस वाज फिनिश्ड द स्टूडेंट रिमूव द इलेक्ट्रोड्स द इलेक्ट्रोड्स वर देन केयरफुली वॉश्ड इन वाटर एंड दे वर वाटर एंड देन डिप्ड इन प्रोपेनोन द इलेक्ट्रोड्स वर ड्राइड बाय अलाउंग द प्रोपेनोन टू इवैपोरेट स्टेट द मेजरमेंट द स्टूडेंट वुड नीड टू रिकॉर्ड द वुड नीड टू रिकॉर्ड टू कैलकुलेट द मास चेंज ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोड इंक्लूड अप्रोप्रिएट units uh, what are the two measurements so the initial and final mass of the electrodes okay take it that's fine initial mass and final mass of electrodes and the unit would be grams i think it's going to be grams uh then you have current into time so i think it was 30 minutes and how, many, how much 30 and 0.5 amperes so this is happening for 30 minutes and uh, that's 13 to 60 seconds so how much charge is passed during the electrolysis um sir 900 coulombs do you see you're getting 900 coulombs for this and uh, that's 13 to 60 as a 900 coulombs as uske baad next one Okay, the mass change of the anode was 0.282 grams. Calculate the amount in moles of copper. So you can find uh, the change is given. Uh, so the anode is getting dissolved. Uh, give your answer to three significant figures. So how many moles is this mass divided by m? It's 0.282, and divide that by 63.5. Sir, that's 4.4 into 10 power minus three. But how many significant figures? Is is already clearly stated. You should use three significant figures. Oh, um, four point four four into ten power minus three. So these are the moles that you're getting. Uh, next is use your answers to D and E to calculate the charge required to remove one mole of copper. So you know that uh, 
4.44 moles. You know that 4.44 times 10 power minus 3 moles. Uh, uh, 900 coulombs of charge is required for that. Uh, so according to the ratio, 1 mole would be, for 1 mole, it's going to be 900 divided by 4, 4 times 10 power minus 3. So what's the value that we're getting? Um, sir, it's 2.03 into 10 power 5. So that's the, that's the coulombs that are required for 1 mole. And then he's saying the theoretical charge required to remove one mole of copper from the anode into the solution as copper two ions is 193,000 193, coulombs. Uh, that's the theoretical. I mean, this is the experimental, which is close enough, right? What is this? This is around uh, 200,000, right? Yeah. This is two, so this is 193,000. So that's the theoretical. And the Faraday constant, explain why the theoretical charge Explain why the theoretical charge is twice the Faraday constant. Because two moles of electrons are uh, produced per copper ion. Exactly. Because you copper, have... When copper is dissolved, uh, it forms copper two plus ions. So, so it's going to be twice, like one mole, one, the charge on one mole is 96,500 coulombs. Faraday constant is the charge on one mole. So since you're removing two moles of electrons, that's going to be double that. Then uh, part H, a possible source of error. Uh, not drawing the anode at the start of the experiment. Explain the effect, if any, on the calculated value of the Faraday constant if the anode is wet at the beginning of the experiment, but dry at the end. Uh, first thing, uh, if it's wet when you're starting off and you hadn't, like the initial mass, what would be the effect on the initial mass? If it's if it's wet initially, it would be higher than the actual value. So the change in mass is going to be it's going to be smaller, right? Yeah. So because of that, there's going to be a smaller change in mass. Uh, and that's it. I mean, the other part is the explanation which you have to give for this. Nee, but the nee, sorry, uh, we didn't. This is the explanation. Explain the effect on the value of the Faraday constant. What would be the effect on the value of the Faraday constant? Um, sir, if the change of mass is smaller, then the number of moles of copper calculated are less. So yes. you get, um, you get a small, uh, you get a larger Faraday's constant than the actual value. You, you get because because you have lesser moles now, uh, but the charge is still the same, right? Yeah. So if you use ratios and you calculate one mole, you're going to get a bigger bigger charge for Faraday constant. So so larger value for Faraday constant of Faraday constant. And the explanation which you just stated. Next one, part I, is the student wanted to ensure that the anode was completely dry at the end of the experiment and decided to evaporate off the propanone using a Bunsen flame. The student noticed some blackening of the surface of copper. Suggest what causes this blackening? It became a uh, copper one oxide. The copper two oxide. Copper one copper oxide two. is red. Okay, copper one oxide, I think, is, is red in color. One second. Okay. Um, copper one oxide is formed when yeah, it's red in color. It's it's the thing that's formed when during felling reagent. When you add copper sulfate and it gets reduced. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so it's it's copper copper two oxide that's black in color. I mean, it's just CuO, and that's a black solid. Uh, part J is the student calculated the mass of change of anode and the cathode after the experiment was complete. And he found that uh, the, the anode was dissolving. So mass decreased and copper was getting deposited. So this one reason why the mass gain at the cathode is not the same as the mass lost at the anode. Uh, 
I mean, what's... Uh, I'm not sure. Some of it just uh, didn't discharge at the cathode and... Um, yeah, well, well, what could be the reason for that? I mean, just make up any reason. Like, uh, it's just one mark. Why is it missing copper? Sir, maybe the other ion started to um, discharge instead. See, that's a possibility. Or uh, you're going to have that. You were washing the cathode, right? When you, I mean, you were washing it with propanone, etc. You're doing lots of things to it, right, to make it pure, right? So, some of the copper might, some CU might fall off or get washed away. Tiki, because you're washing it, so. Some of it might fall off or get washed away. Right? Is that clear? G, sir. T, you could because because it's a it's copper getting deposited. So like if you're washing it too vigorously, some of the flakes could just fall off. As okay. a next one, as a next one, part two. That's when the readings are given already, and you just have to draw graphs. Um, so a temperature above five degrees centigrade, the benz benzene diazonium ion C six H five N two plus. So this is uh, the azodi. Probably need something. It's benzene diazonium ion getting decomposed because it's unstable. So he's saying that if temperature is above five degrees centigrade, it uh, decomposes. The student investigates this reaction by measuring the volume of nitrogen gas produced at regular time intervals. So he's measuring the N two gas that he will get at this point. A uh, diagram shows the experiment and the student finds that the reaction is very slow. So decides to investigate the reaction at 30 degrees centigrade. Complete the diagram to show how the student could investigate the reaction at a constant 30. How, how could you keep a constant 30 degrees centigrade? What would you do? Use a water bath. Tiki, so, Tiki you're, going to, you're going to draw a water bath It's uh, and place everything... I mean, there's going to be a Bunsen burner. There's going to be a thermometer in this water bath. And, and everything would be placed inside this water bath. TK, whatever your apparatus was. So everything would be placed in this water bath. Uh, and make sure you show a thermometer over here as well. Yes, and then the next one is, is Bunsen burner a good choice over here? Sir, isn't it fine because we're using a water bath? I mean, we can use an electric heater too. Do you think it would be because it's 30 degrees centigrade. So, so the thing so with 30... Can, yeah. Uh, can we just draw with, an arrow that says heat? No, but you have to probably... Uh, because it's a completed diagram show how the student could investigate the reaction. You have to show this. So you're going to, you're going to uh, probably add... I mean, you can add a... Add an electric heater. Or you can place it on top of electric heater. I mean, there are two types of electric heaters. One is that you just dip it into the solution. Uh, with heat regulator or a thermostat. Yeah, that would keep it at 30. Bunsen burner would probably be too, it would, it would be a very strong flame. 30 centigrade is probably just too low. Okay. As the next Keep is a uh, student prepares a solution of diazonium ion at five degrees. A 200 cm cube sample of the solution was placed in a conical flask. 200 cm cube sample of which solution? Well, this one. The apparatus was allowed to equilibrate at 30, uh, uh, so it would form 
the gas syringe was then connected, a stop clock was started, and readings of time and gas volume were taken. When the decomposition of uh, digenomine was complete, as shown by no more gas production, the final volume of N2 produced was 72. So it's, what he's basically saying is that there's N2 gas being produced, and that's 72 cm cube. Okay, that's the amount of N2 gas that's being produced. Now, show by calculation that when the stop clock was started, the concentration of digenomine was 0.05. 0 0.015 mole per dm cube. Now remember, it's a 200 cm cube solution. So go back. And he has told us that N2 being produced, that's 72 cm cube, I think. And this volume of the solution was 200 cm cube. So how do you show that digenomine is, uh, the concentration is whatever they are? How, how would you calculate the concentration? Um, sir, can you find the moles of nitrogen and then use the ratio method? T is 72 divided by 24,000, right? What do you get? So we get 3 into 10 power minus 3. T is so going to get 3 times 10 to the power mi minus 3 moles which are going to be the same as uh, the moles of, uh, it's one ratio one, right? And then you can find the concentration of this, which is going to be uh, moles divided by volume. What do you get for that? So we get 0 0.015. So you get 0 0.015, That's, that was what they were looking for. So it's a, it's a 0 0.015 mole per dmq. We're done with the calculation. Then he's saying the volume of nitrogen produced is proportional to the amount of C6H5N2 plus that reacts. As C6H5N2 plus reacts, its concentration in the solution falls. Here, yeah, that's fine. Using the axis shown, sketch a graph to show the change in volume of N2 produced with the change of concentration of C6H5N2 plus. Now, label the axis putting the independent axis, the independent variable on the x-axis. Now, which one is the independent variable and which one is the dependent variable? N2 or this Sir, one? Um, independent is C6H5N2 and dependent is volume of N2. Just a second, it has crashed. One second. So it's a concept that we will add this part, TK. Okay? So the independent was, uh, uh, Mayim, why was it, why did you take that as the independent variable? Um, it's because that's not being affected by the volume of N2, whereas N2 is affected by the... Yeah, I mean, N2 is, N2 is basically depending on this, right? Because it's N2 is made from this. Yeah. As I do see side where there's uh, N2 and he has told us this would be mole per dm cube. Both of them is mole per dm. N2 is the volume in cm cube. And this over here is the is the concentration in mole per dm cube. Now, how do you think the graph would look like? He's saying that what he's saying is the volume of nitrogen produced is proportional to the amount of as C6H5N2 reacts, the concentration of the solution falls. Sketch a, a graph to show the change in volume of N2 with the concentration of this thing. So won't it just be a straight line from the origin going upwards? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's going to be a straight line. Uh, more concentration, more N2 is going to be produced. 
or at a faster faster rate uh, the next part is the result the students obtained are shown in the table to calculate the concentration of c6h5n2 plus the student used the volume of uh, the following equation so what he did was uh, he just multiplied uh, the volume what is this volume i say he's uh, where we i say he's given over here v is the volume of n2 recorded at a spe specific time v final volume of n2 is for complete decomposition of c6h5n2 and then v final is 72 cm cube and then complete column c and d now the first thing is you don't even have to uh, figure or worry about uh, how the experiment was being done you just have to fill the table uh, so we would be filling the table and we would you would, would be plotting the graph uh, for this uh, all you have to do over here is okay, in column d what is he doing in column d Uh, he's trying to. He's, he's using this formula. This is D, right? This formula. So this is what you have to fill this. Fill this up. So we can try. Uh, let me open the marking scheme for this. Just one second. It's instead of doing all the calculation, we can just fill this up. as so in this question what you, you should always do is don't worry about what's happening here theek hai just pehla kaam hai you just you just fill the table theek hai whatever is asking just keep doing that uh we final us said yeah what what was we final as he gave gave that as well that 72 cm cube to iske na ja ke we can just as he made this a copy kar leta hu values khol diye wo so the values are the graph he banana jaldi se 0.125 then 0.236 uh then you have uh, 0.333 or remember us ki instructions follow karna is he told us that it's three significant figures uh then the, it will be 30 divided by 72 which is uh, a 0.417 then 0.486 Then you have point five five six, point six one one, and then point six six seven. ठीक है, this is और फिर उसी तरह इसकी values के next one would be point zero one five zero into one minus point two three six, and that comes out to be marks की में क्या दिया है? That's point zero one three one. अच्छा क्या ये सारी वैल्यूज ना हमारे पास है और फिर ग्राफ प्लॉट करना है ठीक है सो स्टार्ट प्लॉटिंग योर ग्राफ प्रीटी मच एवरीथिंग इज देयर अगर हम स्टार्ट करें तो फर्स्ट वन इज जीरो एंड दैट पॉइंट उस पे जीरो पे पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव जीरो था यानी इट्स राइट एट द टॉप ठीक है मेक श्योर यू यू पुट अ क्रॉस उसने भी कहा होगा हां यूज अ क्रॉस ठीक है टू प्लॉट ईच डेटा पॉइंट अच्छा नेक्स्ट डेटा पॉइंट था कि इट्स इट्स 0.125 एंड 0.031 वन 0.125 0.125 बैठ के ढूंढो व्हाई इज असे ये वाला एक्सिस काफी बड़ा बनाया है उसने जस्ट लेट मी बी श्योर के आई थिंक द आई थिंक इजंट इट अम ए द एक्स एक्सिस द टाइम instead of Which c one? isn't the column a the x axis ha sorry wo ye mar usse usse diya hua hai yahan pe label kiya hua hai it's time being plotted theek hai so it's going to be a this one versus this one right theek hai so zero ke upar it's point yeah. zero one three इसे मैं कह रहा हूं 16 क्यों आ रहा है ठीक है सो 2 पे इट्स 0.0131 सो व्हेयर इज व्हेयर इज 2 आई थिंक ईच बॉक्स इज 2 ठीक है 2 पे इट्स 0.0131 व्हेयर इज प्रोबब्ली दिस वन राइट एंड देन यू हैव 3 मिनट्स पे इट्स 0.0115 सो व्हेयर इज 0.0115 हाउ डू यू फाइंड यहां पे 0.0111 एंड 5 
this one? Nee. Is this 0.0115? Yeah. Okay. And then you have 0 0.01. That's two. And then you have uh, uh, 0.01 or 0 0.0875. 0 0.0875. Seven, if five okay, over here, right in the middle. Okay, that's this. Then the next is after that, it's point zero seven seven one. So where's seven? Is uh, yoga seven one to another And then you have point zero triple six. So six. So somewhere here. Oh, point zero five eight four five, and then where's eight? Eight is this this thing, and finally you have point zero zero five. I see. Yeah, but is this, is, does this kind of looks like a straight line? Okay, it's is it is it a straight line or a curve? I think it's a, it says line of best fit. So I think it'll be a line. No, but a line could be a curved, a curved line as well. Okay. Uh, end mid it's kind of tapering off to one side. It's like, it's moving towards one side. So it's probably not going to be a, I mean, remember line, straight line, you know, that's only when the word straight line, like how right? okay. uh, a line simply can be a curved line or it could be a straight line. It could be both. Okay, so then it's probably a curve. So, but it's, it's slightly curved. You can put that it's moving to one side if I've plotted the points correctly. I said draw a tangent time t is equal to zero. You can probably do that. Uh, state the coordinates of both points you uh, you used in your calculations. So, time t is equal to zero. Cooper, can I? Zero Cooper, what you're going to do is uh, in the point for initial your yeah, first three points for remember uh, you have to show it should be a triangle make sure you draw a triangle TK uh, fully working show can you spend just a second I guess so what you're going to do is you're gonna draw but Joey triangle TK the ruler racket are you you make a triangle what's gonna pay your points little Either points. TK draw it in it. I said, then you have K, uh, once you have drawn the tangent, so I will far apart when I say it should be big enough. The triangle should be very big. And I can't pick here. Question. That's a segular part. Use your graph to complete a table and calculate the values of two half-lives for the first half concentration that have been chosen for you. So half-life measure can you half-life is the time it requires uh, for the concentration to decrease by half. So let's say use your graph to complete a table and calculate the values of two half-lives. For the first half-life concentrations have been chosen for you. Okay, well, how is he doing this? I said, well, half life. Okay. You started off with 0 0.0120, and now you have 0 0.0060. So you have to take two times, and you have to take the time, and you have to the half life, right? Then choose another random value over here. I'm going to starting point. Le lo. Okay, yahan se. Let's say you started off with 0 0.015, so half life will come here. Half life will come here at 0 0.0075. Pe. Uske pa jake time nikalo. And uh, Put that value over there as well. So, you clear? My name is clear. Sir, but then what do we put in the last column? Which one? The t over two. That's the half life value. Na? Nikal lete ke, what I'm going to do is ke, was it 0 0.0120 0 tha na? So, 0 0.0120 is probably going to be this one, right? That's time t1, right? Let's say approximately that's four minutes. Uh, 
of a second half life that would be sorry the half life ka bogi it's going to be at when does the concentration decrease to half 0.006 so that's your second half life right not the second half life that's that's your half life this thing over here is the half life but is this clear also the time difference between them okay so you get that's the half life okay Take you started that. off at this point and the concentration decreased to half at this point so that's your half life or is it random choose any other random point you can start with the first point or phir dekh lo ki half hone mein kitna time lagta hai theek hai theek hai sir acha uske baad stay and explain uh, what the values of the two half life suggest uh, about the order of the reaction to wo to measure karna padega it looks like i mean what does the graph look like वैसे zero order or first order it's concentration with respect to time may what does it look like um first order okay wo dekhna padega first order if it's first order to dono half lives kya honge same they're going to be same theek hai you, you so you have to draw the graph and then you have to figure out whether the half life is the same or not theek hai so if it's zero order then what will the half life be the for zero order the half lives are always half of the previous one like it's it's going to be like this is the this one say let me open the board teen graphs hote hain na theek hai so just a random board but guess pe nahi is pe nahi as you are you basically have three graphs theek hai zero order is can you plot the concentration of a reactant and it looks like this so the concentration of the reactant with respect to time right it's like this okay the gradient doesn't change never changes that means it's constant speed right the rate is not changing the gradient is not changing what that means is that no matter if the concentration of the reactant decreases uh, there's no effect on the rate of the reaction my is this clear yeah acha us case mein half life kya hogi let's say this is the first half life then next time it takes this much time acha phir yahan se dobara half hone mein kitna time lagega that's let's say this much so every time you would notice that the half life constantly decreases Okay, that's the first half life. Successive half life would be half of the previous one. Okay, is this clear? Yes, sir. Uh, first order, what happens? First order, can if you draw a first order graph and uh, the reactant concentration, the rate of the reaction would be dependent on the reactant concentration. Now, what happens in that case is you start off with this point. That's your reactant concentration, and this axis is. टाइम अच्छा पहली दफा हाफ होने में ना इतना टाइम लगा ठीक है लेट्स से दिस इज द टाइम इट टेक्स दैट्स द फर्स्ट हाफ लाइफ सेकंड दफा कंसंट्रेशन हाफ होने में द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड इज स्टिल द सेम सो दैट्स योर सेकंड हाफ लाइफ थर्ड दफा हाफ होने में द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड इज स्टिल द सेम and so on theek hai har dafa half life constant hogi so you you going to get a curve to usme half life constant hoti hai ab phir jo last one hai that's uh, that's your uh, second order second order mein if the concentration of the reactant slows uh, decreases to uske andar kya hota hai ki each half life is double of the previous half life yani ye jo point hoga na it would take twice as much wo agli jo inko to delete hi kar do agli dafa time aur bhi zyada lagega half hone mein theek hai you get the point ji sir 
तो उसके अंदर द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन द रिएक्शन स्लोज डाउन बाय अ लॉट बिकॉज इट्स ऑर्डर टू तो हर दफा रिएक्शन को ज्यादा ही स्लो हो रहा होगा अच्छा बाकी सो वी डन विद दिस वैल्यूज टू हाफ लाइफ वो कैलकुलेट करनी पड़ेगी और तभी पता लगेगा ठीक है तो ये वाला पेपर तो हो गया कंप्लीट क्लियर है एक हम वैसे ही ना गो थ्रू कर लेते हैं इज दिस क्लियर जी सर अच्छा एक हम ना वैसे बगैर सॉल्व किए वैसे गो थ्रू कर लेते हैं जस्ट टू इसे क्या हुआ से विंटर एटीन फाइव वन ठीक है सो वी जस्ट कौन सा नाइन सेवेंटी वन अच्छा ये वाला तो इस क्वेश्चन के अंदर फर्स्ट वन ठीक है द डिजाइन वन explain uh is saying there's a fink finkelstein reaction it's a nucleophilic substitution reaction in which a halogen atom uh is getting substituted by another halogen atom right the reaction is carried out using a uh, dry propanone theek hai so everything looks fine uh so you have explain why it is important to dry propanone to be used as a solvent for this reaction ha ye batao ki it's a it's a nucleophilic substitution that's happening why should it be dry kyun na chahiye dry Sir, otherwise it will ionize the ionic compound. नहीं थोड़ा सा वो हालाजिनो अल्केन्स का पता होना चाहिए कि remember if you have a हालाजिनो अल्केन right any हालाजिनो अल्केन तो this carbon positive and this br negative right कौन कौन से nucleophilic substitution reactions होते हैं इनके the OH ion could be could be attacking this right NH two ठीक है है और एल्काइल यू कुड हैव सीएन माइनस राइट या या तो वाटर व्हाई शुड इट बी ड्राई ठीक है क्योंकि वाटर हैज व्हाट यू डोंट वांट यू डोंट वांट हाइड्रोलिसिस टू हैपन ठीक है जी सर फिर आगे वो कह रहे यूज दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन टू एक्सप्लेन वाई द रिएक्शन बिटवीन एन एन एज रिवर्सिबल द रिएक्शन प्रोड्यूस अ वेरी हाई इट प्रोड्यूस अ वेरी हाई ये अब उसे सॉलिबिलिटी दी हुई है उसने कहा कि रिएक्शन प्रोड्यूस अ वेरी हाई ये ठीक है अच्छा पहले बताओ कि इनमें से कौन सा सॉलिबल है कौन सा नहीं सॉलिबल है um... sodium iodide is more soluble and sodium bromide is not okay so as soon as the reaction happens you get a solid precipitate right clear and sir and why no you nabr is not soluble right we have likha hua na yeah ठीक है ये क्लियर है पार्ट या तो अब जो भी एन एन बीआर बनेगा इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी इन एक्व स्टेट मतलब इट्स इट प्रोबब्ली वुड बी इन एक्व स्टेट बट वेरी लिटिल ऑफ इट वुड बी इन एक्व स्टेट अ मोस्ट ऑफ इट वुड जस्ट फॉर्म अ सॉलिड प्रेसिपिटेट तो अब वो कह रहे कि पहले तो बताओ कि व्हाई वुड इट हैव अ हाई यील्ड यील्ड क्यों हाई होगी मतलब से कह इट इज रिवर्सिबल पर इट हैज अ वेरी हाई यील्ड कि लेट्स से आई ने आखिर ना बियर को सब्सिट्यूट कर लिया राइट सो द सो आई इज गॉन इसको रब करो अच्छा नाउ टेल मी व्हाई इज द बियर नॉट सब्सिट्यूट मतलब व्हाई इज इट नॉट रिवर्सिंग व्हाई इज द बियर नॉट रिप्लेसिंग द आई उसे कहा इट्स हैज अ वेरी हाई यील्ड फॉरवर्ड जा रहा है बैकवर्ड वो आ सकता है लेकिन इट्स नॉट हैपनिंग 
why is that not happening bhai mai idea uh i'm not sure kyunki solution ke andar there is no br ions kyunki sara ka sara to solid precipitate ban gaya do you get the point yeah okay theek hai so na br jo was solid ban ke it has been uh, uh, it's gone now theek hai so there is no br ions so it can't really reverse uh, the br is not going to come back theek hai because all of it has it's no longer present in the solution तो ये यहाँ पे एक्सप्लेन करना है ठीक है अच्छा फिर उसके बाद प्रिकॉशंस uh, क्या कि हाईली फ्लेमेबल मॉडरेट हेल्थ हेल्थ इरिटेटिंग टू आईज रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम एंड स्किन फ्लेमेबल हेल्थ हेल्थ रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम अच्छा रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम को अगर वो कर रहा है अफेक्ट तो किसके अंदर करना चाहिए उसको रिएक्शन को ठीक है, इट्स गोइंग टू बी डन इन टू इन अ फ्यूम कवर्ड हाईली फ्लेमेबल भी है तो उसका क्या होगा अम यू कीप इट अवे फ्रॉम एन ओपन फ्लेम ठीक है दैट्स इट तो टू डिफरेंट प्रिकॉशंस ठीक है बस ये दो थे ना और कुछ और तो कुछ नहीं है हाईली फ्लेमेबल और बस ये आईज और ठीक है फ्यूम कवर्ड इन दैट्स इट अ देन यू हैव अ स्टूडेंट Plan an experiment to show that the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of NaI, and uh, what is PR? As a propanone, propanone may dissolve over. The student plans to record the evo cross wall. At he go up so we will see. And when the cross disappears, he stops the stopwatch. Um, why would it disappear? Because NaBr is solid band, right? So the solid, which is now, will come down. It is all solid bottom. It will come down. So the cross will disappear, right? Now to carry out this experiment, the following materials are used: uh, calculate the masses of NaI in uh, propanone that would be needed to make 150 cm cube or 0.5 mol per cm cube NaI. ठीक है. Assuming 150 cm cube of propanone are required, तो density क्यों नहीं हुई है? तो क्या calculate the masses of NaI to make 0.5 mol per cm cube? तो पहले वो निकालो हाउ मच मोल्स वुड बी नीडेड फॉर एनआई मोल्स इज कंसंट्रेशन टाइम्स वॉल्यूम राइट सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी 150 टाइम्स वॉल्यूम इज 150 द कंसंट्रेशन दैट वी वांट इज 0.5 तो कितना आ रहा है 0.075 मोल्स अच्छा सो इसके 0.075 0.075 0.075 मोल्स अब 0.075 मोल्स आए तो उसने कहा कि मास ऑफ एनआई कैलकुलेट द मास ऑफ एनआई हां ठीक है मास ऑफ एनआई तो कैलकुलेट कर लो एम आर से मल्टीप्लाई कर लो सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी 23 प्लस आई थिंक द अदर वन इज मुदिया वेस्ट टाइम 126.9 अम 11.2 ग्राम्स बस ठीक है और दूसरे की मास प्रोपोनोन की भी मास निकालिए दैट्स 150 सीएम क्यूब तो डेंसिटी दी हुई है So I think in two point seven nine, right? And you'll find the mass. ठीक है? ठीक है. So इसके अंदर तो कुछ खास नहीं है. Part of the table, complete the table with appropriate volumes. हाँ ये वाला. Uh, how would you? क्योंकि NAI, I think NAI क्या करना है ना very. Experiment में क्या करना है कि plans an experiment to show that the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of NAI. So you you're going to you going to vary nai concentration in this now how would you vary nai concentration um you vary the mass of nai used theek hai you the volume of nai theek hai abhi agar 10 cm cube use kiye to 
प्रोपोनोन इज द सॉल्वेंट राइट रिमेम्बर दिस इज द सॉल्वेंट वैसे आप डाइल्यूशन के अंदर क्या करते हो यू कीप द टोटल वॉल्यूम कॉन्स्टेंट एवरी टाइम द वॉल्यूम शुड ऑलवेज बी अ कॉन्स्टेंट ठीक है यू वॉन्ट द वॉल्यूम टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट ताकि ये जो ये जो हेलोजन हो अल्के इसका इसकी कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ वेरी करे so you're going to change the volume of nai uh, you might take it as 5 cm cube matlab wo pura to yahan pe it should be 35 you might take it as 15 then this would be how much kitna hoga 40 pura karna hai so it's going to be 25 you might take it as 20 to so this would be 20 25 then this would be 15 theek hai ye clear hai mujhe resist hai yeah and identify the independent variable what's the independent variable dependent sir dependent or independent dependent uh dependent is the time theek hai that's the time right expression to show how the student could calculate the rate of the reaction uh how would you calculate the rate of the reaction मतलब ये ना कि रिमेम्बर वो क्या था एक्सपेरिमेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट ये था वो क्रॉस वाला यू वेटिंग फॉर द क्रॉस टू डिस सो हाउ डू मेजर द रेट लाइक हाउ हाउ यू नो द रिएक्शन इज फास्ट एंड हाउ यू नो द रिएक्शन इज स्लो सॉरी सर माय इंटरनेट वन आउट डिड यू से समथिंग Nee, how would you measure the rate of this reaction? This one. I mean, what? Um. What calculations? You'd would measure you based off of how fast, based on how fast the um, CH three CH two BR form. Sorry, the NaBr formed. Yeah, I mean, you're basically looking at when the when the cross disappears, right? Because the yeah. NaBr. So what would be the expression? What in the table? What would you measure? Like. How would you measure it? That like you have made this table, right? Let's say the last column is rate. So what what is exactly what that you're going to measure, or what calculations would you do to measure rate? Sir, I'm not sure. Is my other rate is one over time? ठीक है तो जो भी टाइम की वैल्यूज होंगी रेट वुड बी वन ओवर टाइम रेट इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टाइम इफ इट्स क्विक इट्स गोइंग टू टेक लेस अ टाइम इफ इट्स स्लो इट्स गोइंग टू टेक अ लॉन्गर टाइम क्लियर है बात सर इजंट इट कंसंट्रेशन ओवर टाइम डू वी जस्ट इग्नोर कंसंट्रेशन यू गो टू इग्नोर कंसंट्रेशन बिकॉज़ यू नॉट इवन मेजरिंग कंसंट्रेशन एनीवे ठीक है अ आप तो वो मेजर कर रहे हो ना कि टाइम इट टेक्स फॉर द क्रॉस टू डिसपेयर राइट तो रेट ऐसे रिमेम्बर इन अ रेट एक्सपेरिमेंट रेट इज बेसिकली अ चेंज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम ठीक है नाउ यू कैन कीप द चेंज फिक्स्ड मतलब अगर आपने चेंज फिक्स कर दिया ना यानी हर एक्सपेरिमेंट में फॉर एग्जांपल यू चेंज किया है कि क्रॉस डिसपेयर होना है so the change is fixed so it, so rate i mean you can get rid of the change over here its rate is one over time right do you get my point yeah to agar ab now this change could be anything it could be technically its concentration over time right change in concentration over time but in, in when you do do this in a lab uh this change could be anything it could be uh the change in color it could be the change in uh mass it could be the change in volume of a gas it could be any change that's happening With respect to time, और अगर आप वो change fix कर दो ना हर experiment के लिए कि let's say gas produced हो रही है 10 cm cube gas हर experiment में and you turn off the stopwatch, so then rate is basically one over time or proportional to one over time. You can even remove okay. change from the equation because it would become a constant. The change would become a constant. So okay. now identify the major source of accuracy inaccuracy of measurement in this reaction. Suggest an improvement. What's the major source of inaccuracy? Hey, sir. Look at the. Um. So you may not notice. Uh, you may not notice the cross get covered, or you may. Okay. Uh, 
so there's I said there's no exact point when the cross would actually I mean there's there's no exact mark right like like if it's it's a volume of gas that you're measuring 10 cm is a fixed mark very clearly identifiable uh in that case there would be human error because you might stop the stopwatch late or you might stop the stopwatch early right but with the cross disappearing it would disappear so slowly that uh, you'll be confused whether it has disappeared or not so that's uh, that's the that's the main thing how do you improve that so can we change what it is that we're measuring then instead of the cross being covered yeah i think you have to keep the same experiment what you could do is uh, i said one thing about this one is the cross being the cross disappearing right what do you think uh, if the reaction is happening fast would the error be greater or if the reaction is happening slowly is that when the error is going to be greater the error is greater when it's happening slowly why so because when it's happening quick it's easy to see that it's gotten covered up but when it's slow it's not the time difference is kind see, of hard uh, to see need, need one, one thing uh let's forget time uh like like the thing is if it's happening slowly the time values are going to be smaller right like if it happens in 10 seconds versus it happens in 300 seconds right so smaller values do they have bigger percentage error or bigger values have bigger percentage error smaller values so if it's happening quickly right uh and let's say there's there's an uncertainty period of 3 seconds for example let's assume that it's it's 3 seconds where you're uncertain right so 10 seconds and in between for 3 seconds you're uncertain that's plus minus 3 seconds so you have a 30% person, percentage error right now yeah. on the on the other hand you have 300 seconds the experiment is going on for 300 seconds and you are uncertain for like 10 seconds where to stop the stopwatch so there's like plus minus 10 seconds for example now that's a much smaller percentage error right do you get my point yeah so chalo theek hai wo So remember yeah. this key, key, and this applies to all experiments. Okay, not just this one. Remember, if you want to increase the accuracy of something, you just take bigger values. If you use bigger values, or मतलब जो numbers आ रहे हैं आपके पास आ रहे हैं ना, if they become bigger, तो the percentage error automatically kind of drops. सही है? Yeah. Okay. चलो ठीक है, मैं we're done with this question. तो फिर next time try करते हैं. अब ये last वाला वैसे देख लेते हैं कि as the last question is always uh, it's always pretty standard even if you uh, don't usually get i mean for example where you have to keep it at 40 degrees centigrade so that's a water bath and remember with the with the with the uh, temperature regulator heat source like a, an electric heater with a temperature regulator ठीक है नॉट वाटर बाथ के साथ भी कुछ लिखना चाहिए ऐसे इफ द टेंपरेचर वाज मेंटेन एट 40 ओवर टाइम द रीडिंग ऑफ द वोल्टमीटर वुड चेंज सो जस्ट वन रीजन व्हाई के बट आई थिंक इट्स अ इट्स अ नॉर्मल सेल तो वो कह रहे कि अगर टेंपरेचर 40 पे रखो ना उस टाइम पे टेंपरेचर की बात की थी He's just saying that the solutions. Ah, uh, if it's kept at forty, the value can change, buddy. Why would the cell value change if it's constantly kept at forty? Sir, I'm not oh. sure. over time any random reason like uh as a cells ki jo voltage hai wo kis pe depend kare it depends on the concentration of the of the solution right so since the, it's there's a sol bridge so we assuming that the concentration is not changing but what would happen is that uh, at 40 over time the water would start to evaporate 
and if the water starts to evaporate uh, the concentration would start to change and if the concentration of a of a of an electrode changes the forward backward ka masla aa jata hai it would shift forward or backward direction theek hai clear hai uh sir my internet is really acting up can you repeat your point nee just this thing get 40 if you keep it at 40 uh the user glow wala tha okay if 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 over time the reading of the voltmeter would change okay water would start to evaporate and the concentration in the solutions would change is that clear okay sir so okay uh, mayim can you do this question and then send me the solution for this one question number 2 theek hai isko graph paper ke upar plot kar lo uh the other thing is ke as i said this question mein every time you just have to do you don't even have to most of the time you don't even have to read the question just fill this up wo se diya minus log of silver silver ion concentration 16.1 e not cell but i think this should be multiplied by 16.1 fill this up or usne uh, exactly labels bhi diye hain ki kisko kiske sath plot karna hai just plot those values mark the anomalous values etc theek hai try and do this question phir hum continue karte hain next class mein so okay then take care